We're like a fun couple, right? Yeah. We have fun. Yeah, we're fun. I mean, we're like, maybe not as fun as all those old people who are still partying right now and doing coke probably, but we have our own brand of fun. Yeah, we don't need a party because the only reason to party is to go out and meet somebody who's awesome and your soulmate and you already got that. It's just me. I have it. And I'm still looking, <laughs> but I get closer and closer every day. Cool. I'll try to change. <laughs> Whatever, we're fine, right? Yeah, we're fine. All right. I'm not worried. I love you. I love you too. Good night. <laughs> huh? I was going to say good night too. Oh, yeah. Jigs. Good night. Good night. Okay. <sighs> we should go out. I was just thinking. Look, we're on vacation. We need to vacate. All right, I'm here at the Las Vegas Film Festival with... My name is Nicholas Rutherford. I'm also here at the Las Vegas Film Festival that's, with... That's right, with William here from Film Snob Reviews. And we just saw your film, The Unicorn. Is that correct? That's right. I think, I hope so. I hope you saw it. I did see it. I was, that is I did. the correct name of the film, yeah. Okay, good. I didn't fall asleep, which is a, a testament to your film. That's all we're looking Excellent. for. So what, uh, first of all, it's a comedy. Yeah. Um, what's it, this guy was me working with the cast and working with Robert as a director. Robert's great because I, I feel like with comedies, it's very important that A, everybody who's in it is funny and B, that the director recognizes what's funny and allows that funny to kind of shine through. And Robert definitely does and gave us all an uh, opportunity to be funny and we let us go wild and then would take the best things and put it in. And what about Laura and your co-star? Oh, my God. She is uh, wildly talented. It, it was, a lot of it was just trying not to laugh at each other the whole time. <laughs> I'll tell you you said that. Yeah, <laughs> you should. She's great. She was fantastic. She's down and, like... In incredibly witty. I mean, if, I don't know if you... And you should seek her stuff out. She has multiple podcasts. She's, like, just wildly talented. And we got... We were very, very lucky to I've get I've seen her. her in other things, and she's usually... She works all like the time a, for a lot of reasons. She's yeah. very, very... She's incredibly... So, where would people know you from? What have you done that uh, people would know you from? You... Uh, I was in a sketch... I'm, I, I was in a sketch group called Good Neighbor that a lot of people know me from that... Um, I'm on this TV show on Adult Swim called Dream Corp LLC that people are kind of finally starting to see, uh, and and then stand up. So just kind of from being around and being in comedy for a while. You're pretty funny. So I, I, the stand up I could definitely see, and you have a lot of Thanks, man. good. You got a couple of SNL alum in there. Yeah. With you, Kyle Mooney and. Uh, yeah, well, Kyle and Beck yeah. uh, were in Good Neighbor with me. We, oh, we yeah. were a Good Neighbor. That's quite so, a that. Yeah, so it's cool. We got to like. And now we get to just make films and put each other in our films. Okay. Nice. okay. Describe to me, like, the best day on set. What was that like? Ooh, the best day on set. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, I think the day with Kyle was really good. The day with Beck was really good, but it was a very... There's a couple scenes with awkward. Beck. <laughs> oh, well, awkward and also just uh, a really long day. Yeah. But with Kyle, it was kind of near the end of it. Everybody, mm -hmm. we had time, and we, would, we were just kind of shooting during the day, which was nice. We shot so much of it during the night, which yeah. is, like, just exhausting. Yeah. Uh, and shooting uh, with Kyle was just fun because we're all just making each other laugh and busting takes. And, Kyle Moo's uh, hilarious. So. Yeah, he's great. Yeah. That's uh, funny. Yeah, what about that was the worst day? Like the hardest the day? The worst day was actually the day with Beck because, yeah. but only because I, we, I was shooting this TV show and the only way these two things could happen is that they were like pigeon or uh, dovetailed together. Oh. And so I, we wrapped on this TV mm -hmm. show at like five in the morning mm -hmm. and then I, we had to shoot Unicorn at like 9 a.m., that same day so it was like 48 straight hours of just shooting so it was just a long tired a lot of like coffee and red bull and staying up yeah almost falling asleep yeah, yeah yeah but it, it works out because i'm supposed to be like kind of shit-faced in that scene so yeah. i look very tired and out of it because i was very tired, tired. And out of it. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny that's, that's sick. yeah so it all worked as out. an actor who's who are actors you look to as inspirations or had looked to formally as inspirations um you know, I always used to look to Bill Murray because I just loved his kind of delivery and his kind of give, who gives a fuck attitude. His deadpanness. Yeah, I really, yeah. really enjoyed that dryness. Um, and now I'm kind of leaning towards creators, like people who write and make their own things. Like, mm -hmm. uh, like honestly, I know it's cliche, but I'm really into the Duplass brothers now. Yeah, like the, I was the kings of mumblecore in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yes. and and just like how they were able to create this empire. I don't necessarily want to make 
the puffy chair and make these yeah. like mumblecore films. I yeah. think that maybe has had its time. Playing but, with fire, you don't want to make that sort of thing. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, they have created like this way to make films and for everybody to share in the success of them and make it like easy uh, that I'm in awe of. So I, I like that answer because a lot of the stuff they do, they, even when they don't write it, it always has that certain je ne sais quoi about it. When you're like, well, that's a Duplass Brothers movie, specifically when Mark, because Mark does a lot more in front of the camera than Jay does. Yeah. So I get what you're saying there. That's that's pretty cool. I like yeah, that answer. Yeah, no, they're they're cool. And I mean, the one thing that they do that's really cool that we did on this film is everybody who worked on it owns part of the movie. Oh. So like, it's a in a big studio film, nobody gets mm-hmm. a point. You get a point if you're like Tom Cruise or whoever. Right, right, right. But you don't. Nobody gets a point. Everybody from the key grip to the wardrobe to uh, like to me gets like a point on the film meaning like you know i'm sure your listeners know but meaning you have ownership of it and if right. it becomes if you make money on the film everybody, everybody else is money. gonna yeah. make some money so we all got paid the same right it was across the board everybody got paid the same and mm-hmm. then everybody is working together to just make some so a little bit of a fun question were you a rooney fan beforehand i didn't know that i was yeah uh because i just i'm kind of musically dumb because there's a lot like, of their songs in the movie yeah some original songs too yeah. but i once i was like oh man once i put it together i was like oh i know all these songs from like yeah. growing up and like <laughs> high school and yeah. college it's like oh my god and then we all went to see rooney at uh they, they went on tour right after the uh right after the we shot the movie and mm-hmm. we all saw them in la it was great well i guess i have to go see them when they when they play here they're great in, man. in august oh are they playing here they're yeah great. he told me yesterday robert he said they're playing here he that's amazing go. oh then we all gotta come out here yeah their band is also all in the the bar scene yeah open. They're, all those dudes are super cool we went to the concert i've never i'm not a big rock and roll concert guy mm-hmm. it was like standing like four rows back just like cheering and i made friends with the uh guitarist who now i can't think of his name it's embarrassing but he like tossed me a pick and I like caught it midair. It was one of the best moments. Of <laughs> you feel I, so cool. I felt like moment. this weird groupie so, who's like so. into this dude. So the question I haven't asked anybody else yet, but I'm gonna ask you because you're here and, you, and you're very funny. So I think I'm gonna get a good answer out of you. Oh man! Let's say you're stranded on a desert island. You got two movies you have to watch the rest of your life. What two movies are you picking? Ooh boy, um, desert island two movies. Yeah, don't think about the logistics of the question. Yeah, yeah. I, I wanted to say like how to survive on a desert island yes. and how to get off a desert island. Um, my, the, out of, my gut feeling out of the gate was Saving Private Ryan because this movie as a teenager I decided was just going to be my favorite movie it's of all time it's definitely not how you survive on a beach I'll tell you that yeah exactly so yeah. then I think maybe not that and obviously you got cast away would be a good way but then you, you just want to be around people yeah um, I guess it would have to be um, boy uh, Avatar and uh, <laughs> I'm kidding uh, <laughs> Like, I don't know, man. That's a hard question. It is a hard, hard question. question, man. That's what I don't like about. That's what I love about film is you don't have to just watch the same movie over and over. Yeah, again. but this puts you in the position of what if you only could? Maybe I'd watch um, what's that? Day after tomorrow, that Tom Cruise live die repeat movie. Oh, Edge of Tomorrow. Edge of Tomorrow. It's good. Just so because it's about kind of living the same existence yeah. over and over again. Yeah. And it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's for Tom Cruise. It's or uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you know what? It is a pretty good Tom Cruise film. Yeah. He does yeah. a lot of running. Like he always does this. He's really good at it. Yeah. What movie I you know, watched? I'm taller than him. Yeah. And I'm not taller As than anyone. As you should be. No, no, that's not true. You're taller than Tom Cruise. Yeah, yeah. And Danny DeVito, but that's... Well, I mean... Yeah. Yeah, we're all taller than Danny DeVito. <laughs> that's fair. That's yeah. fair. Stand on my knees, I think. Maybe yeah. that. I, maybe that's what I'd watch. I'd watch um, uh, the Keaton Batman. Oh, the, yeah. Good, good option. Yeah. Which one? The first one or the second? Returns the, first one. Or the regular one. Oh, yeah, good, yeah, good yeah. option. Yeah, yeah. So that you can dance with the devil on the pale moon yeah, the whole time. Yeah, exactly. I like that. I like yeah. that answer. There's so, a lot in that. Yeah. Lu- Lucy Hale's also in this movie. Yeah, yeah. She's I've never great. seen anything she's in, but my girlfriend's a huge Pretty uh, pretty Little Liar. Oh, fan. sure. She, yeah. Is she a dream? She's fun to work with? You know what? She was so amazingly funny. She mm-hmm. never gets to do be funny on Pretty Little Liars. No, yeah. She was super, like, funny down, knew her lines. Like, you're on a TV show for nine years. You know your fucking shit yeah and she showed yeah. up knowing her goddamn shit yeah. like she knew like how to hit her marks she fucking nailed it and yeah. she was super funny and it was just about making her laugh and this is the last question yeah We're gonna, it's a two-parter first thing uh when is the film coming out distribution wise uh last i heard the film's coming out in october it's gonna okay. hit 12 major cities and okay. gonna be also on demand and uh, itunes and uh amazon day and, and date Day and date, exactly. Okay, perfect, perfect. But I don't know the exact date, but sometime early October. Or October. And then the last question, why should people go see The Unicorn? 
Hmm. I think you should see it because it's uh, it's an amazing collection of people, first of all, which probably will be hard to grab together in the same in a film again. Mm -hmm. And I think it uh, if you're in a relationship, it brings up a lot of great questions and makes you kind of ask things about things, but also in a nice, lighthearted way. And it kind of challenges these fun gender stereotypes. And uh, it's not a uh, I think it's really funny, and I think it's a, a, a an important film that kind of makes you question. I don't know what's important to you and uh, who's important to you. Who's important to you? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I think that's that's a good answer. Thank Thanks. you so much. If you for save that answer. Yeah. That's what I do. <laughs> Thanks so much for thank joining you. us. And once again, Nick, thank you so much. My the pleasure. Unicorn's a fantastic film. You guys can check it out. Like he said in October.